Hey folks, in this video we're going to be talking about Ilex vomitoria, which is our Yaupan or Yaupan holly. Um, just like our other um, hollies, this is going to be in the Aquafoliaceae family, which is our holly family. Um, looking up close, you can see this is the more natural state of the sh shrub. Um, we also see it cultivated sometimes around on campus, but in this form it's a little bit more scrubby looking and it tends to have a little bit larger leaves. Um, it is a shrub, so you'll see many stems coming from one base near the bottom. Um, the bark of those stems is that kind of um, tannish um, color uh, or gray um, with some lichens associated. You can see the stems along the branches even have that lighter color to them. Looking up close at those leaves, you can see that they're alternately arranged on the stem um, and they have a crenate to um, slightly dentate margin. So you can see that along the side. Um, all of these leaves are no more than an inch long. They're pretty small, um, sometimes even smaller, depending on how they're cultivated. Sometimes you'll see them growing in kind of meatball shrubs where people have kind of pruned them that way. Um, this plant is pretty important because um, uh, it was traditionally brewed at low concentrations on the Outer Banks um, for its caffeine. Um, and Native Americans use this plant um, for purification ceremonies. Um, like our other ilexes, um, the berries of it, or the droops, can um, cause vomiting if you eat them. Um, and that's actually where we get our specific epithet for this plant, Ilex vomitoria. So yeah, between um, looking at those alternate elliptical leaves um, with that um, crenate to slightly serrate margin, um, and it's kind of got a shiny dark green color to them, you'll get Ilex vomitoria every time.